In this case, we're going to be looking at some of the features of neoplasia. And so what we're looking at today is a colon biopsy. And this patient was seen to have a large polyp within their colon. So right now what you can see is normal colonic mucosa. And so normal colonic mucosa is composed of colonic crypts, you can see here, and then the stroma that holds them up, also called the lamina propria. And those colonic crypts are often what we call a row of test tubes, or they look like a rack of test tubes from the top. So you can see these nice uh, round contours that they have, and they're very organized. Now, right towards the edge of this is where we actually see the neoplastic colonic tissue. And you can see that we no longer have the architecture that we used to have where we have these nice rounded crypts. Instead, they are uh, all distorted and falling apart. In addition, when we look at higher power, you can actually see that the nuclei are much different than, they, than seen next door in the normal colon. And so in normal colon, you have mucinous epithelium with these big goblet-like cells and basally oriented nuclei uh, with very small pinpoint nucleoli, which are those little purple dots. Over here in the tumor, you can see that the nuclei are enlarged and that the nucleoli are actually much larger and easier to identify. Another thing that lets you know that this is a bad process is the presence of lots of mitotic activity. So occasionally you'll see a mitosis in a normal colon crypt, but just in this one field, uh, my pointer is pointing to different mitotic figures that uh, I can see here in this one. This one's actually an anaphase. You can see the um, chromosomes moving apart from each other. So this area shows a loss of organization, very atypical nuclei, and a lot of mitotic activity, which is what we'll see in a colon cancer. This is a type of carcinoma called an adenocarcinoma because it's composed of glands, uh, as opposed to a squamous cell carcinoma, which we'll talk about later on. So this is an example of colonic adenocarcinoma in a patient uh, presenting in an enlarged polyp with some of those nice features of neoplasia that we talk about.